Hi guys, it's Franz. Welcome to Journal on Monday, week 119. I want to work on black paper, so the best way to have that in my handmade watercolor paper art channel is to apply a layer of black gesso on the paper. And I'm going for Finavar's Art Basics Heavy Black Gesso. Quickly heat setting it with my heat gun and then I can apply my first real layer which is Art Extravagance White Crackle from Finovar. My goal today is to go for layers and crackle and layers and crackle. That's how far my plans reaches for today's page. Once the paste is thoroughly dried, I'm accentuating the crackles by manipulating the paper. And yes, I'm doing the same thing on the other side, even though I already have um, something on the other side of the paper. It's okay, it can take it. Now I want to accentuate the crackles a bit more, so I'm going for color art um, glazing medium, which is clear to which I'm adding primary elements to give it a color and I want to go for a warm grey. I'm also adding a tiny bit of water just to make it a bit more fluid. And I'm not taking much care about how I'm applying it as I know that I will be taking most of it off again. Like I said, layers and crackle. I do want some of it to stay on the paper, so before I go in with a baby wipe, I quickly um, dry it with my heat gun. Now the crackle paste underneath will act partly as a resist, but as the glaze is an acrylic, it will stay quite on there as well, so in some spots it will come off and in some it won't. Then I'm adding a new layer of white crackle. Today's video is about 14 minutes long and it took me an hour and 15 minutes to complete it. And I think that most of the time went into drying the layers. And now I can accentuate the crackles again. I had more white on the right side than on the left side and I wanted to balance it out just a little bit so I took out a silk from Color Art which is actually the same as the mixture that I made previously it's primary elements with um, clear medium and I'm just accentuating the crackles on the right side to balance it with the left side this is the clear crackle from Finavara and this time I want to give it my own color using again a pigment from Color Art. 
I'm going for a light blue that I'm applying in a very irregular layer. And then again, heat setting it with my heat gun to make it crackle a bit faster. The white crackle will act as a resist for the clear crackle, so using a baby wipe I'm taking uh, some of the colorized crackle back off again to accentuate the irregularity of the look. And now I can accentuate the crackles again. This time I'm accentuating them with white first. So some heavy white gesso from Fenivar, a bit of water, and I'm using it as a white wash, which will actually take, um, has, have more grip in the crackles than on the rest of the page. And then I'm taking the excess away using a baby wipe again. and using my wonderful cloth that I uh, got from Sue from Art Workshops in the UK. Thank you, Sue. Using some black gesso again, mixing it up with some water. And I want to accentuate the crackles a bit more than just with the white. Now I thought I wanted to add splatters, and I did want to add splatters, but I also wanted to add drippage, so I should have done the drippage before I did the splatters, you'll see why in a minute. But I only want to have um, drippage to accentuate the blackness on the edges, so I'm taking all the rest of it back off again using my wonderful cloth. And this will allow me to frame the page in a bit of a different way. And as you can see, all the splatters are gone, so I'll add some more later on, again. <laughs> 
This time I'm using Color Art Silks to add splatters because those will be a bit more translucent than if I do them with gesso. So first I'm going in with black and then of course I have to go with my all-time favorite autumn leaf. It's, it's just rust in a jar, liquid rust in a jar. Adding a little bit of stamping using Donna Salazar's Mixed Media Inks and using one of my stamps uh, by Stampatique. This is the Design Cube number two. And one of the faces has some um, small cracks. So like I said, cracks and layers. I needed to add some more cracks on the edges of the paper. I went through my um, collection of leftover pieces of rusted paper and cambric and fabric. This is cambric that has been colorized with um, autumn leaf silk and now I can sew the whole thing together. So the next morning I came back to it. Everything nicely sewn together and I want to add some more stamping again using Donna Salazar's inks and again using one of my stamps by Stampathique and this is the vintage bill. Now that everything is nicely sewn together I want to add some stamping on that as well so I'm using one of my stamps which is the postmark, the 1879 postmark. And then I'm gluing the whole thing down just using soft matte gel from Finovar. Now as you can see on the right, um, I also got an old clock clock out. This is a Tim Holtz clock, but it, it went through so many rusting beds that it's totally unrecognizable. You cannot even see it's a clock anymore. That's how, um, that's how rusted it turned out. And it has a really nice uh, patina, verdigris patina kind of rust. And then just a washer from the do-it-yourself store. And of course, one of my little hearts. Now for the wording, I chose one of uh, Seven Dot Studio stickers. And I'm giving it a the right color using Donna Salazar's Mixed Media Inks. Of course, I need to add some brownish on the edges. And now I can just glue it in place. It is a sticker, but as my journals are manipulated a lot, I need to make sure that it will stay in place. And I wanted to hide it halfway underneath the, the rusted paper. Adding my date stamp, but I still wasn't happy. Something was missing, and then I realized what was missing. My eyelets were missing, so I'm adding those as well. Those are a little bit bigger than the regular big bite hole, so I need to go back in with my big bite and make, the, make those holes a bit bigger so that it fits. And when you rust your eyelets, make sure that when you put them in place, you don't, you don't crush, crush them too hard because they will fall apart completely. And when I had done this, I was quite happy with the page. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. And see you back next time. Ta-da!